Absolutely devastating news today as Manchester United have been found guilty in a huge transfer bribery scandal. Banknotes released in the Panama Papers linking all the way to the Glazers do show funds beyond the disclosed amounts for Di Maria and Falcao. Because of this incredible scandal, Manchester United have been given a one-year ban on all transfers and have been relegated to the championship. After the first year ban, United will be restricted to only two transfers per window and only players under 23. Because of these drastic punishments, many of the older top stars are likely to leave. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Bastian Schweinsteiger, David De Gea are among the big names that are out the door with many others soon to follow. The younger players like Martial, Rashford, Timothy Fosu and Mensa have decided to stay on with the promise of more playtime. Jose Mourinho has resigned citing that this wasn't his mess and this wasn't his responsibility that he had to clean up. With the potential loss of hundreds of millions of dollars, the Glaziers have decided Manchester United are no longer worth the hassle and bad publicity. They have decided to sell the club to a Chinese billionaire playboy named Rex Fang. Rex Fang made his Chinese fortune by creating a Chinese fortune cookie dynasty. In his first statement, Rex said that he will do what most handsome Chinese billionaires do when they buy a company. Find the people who know what they're doing and let them keep doing what they're doing. His first appointment was to find someone who really knows and loves this club, someone who can bring them through troubling times. And with that criteria, Rex felt like there was only one man for the job. Ryan Giggs has been appointed manager of Manchester United. While club to club transfers are banned, signing non-club youth prospects is still allowed. Rex Fang has thus put all their resources into developing a world-class youth academy system. His hope is that the youth development combined the bright youth talents of Martial, Rashford and Fosu Mensa can bring about a new golden generation for the club and hopefully rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Rubber damps to Mr. Sparring DK for that lovely, lovely intro right there. Links to his series, which is very similar. He's doing it with Bayern Munich right here. Links to that and to all the other YouTubers that participated in that intro in the description down below. Check them all out. Now, guys, let's go ahead. Let's get it. Let's get to the task at hand and the fate of Manchester United, who have been cruelly ousted from the world footballing stage, relegated for their actions, for the foolish actions by the Glazers, now relegated to the championship, but Rex Fang has taken over, and he does not plan for Manchester United to stay there for long. He has appointed Ryan Giggs as the man, the man of choice, the chosen one that will lead us through these turbulent times. And what we have right here, we do not have the firepower. A lot of the big names have left. What we do have is a phenomenal youth base, the class, the future legendary class of 16 ladies and gentlemen and what we want to do in this career mode is to build off of that build a second golden generation everybody knows everybody knows of the class of 92 legendary names like neville skulls beckham all graduates of the manchester united youth academy and now with the likes of timothy fosumensa marcus rashford Names that have came through our academy, I have hope that a second generation is on its way. We might not be able to sign any big names. What we can do is we can dedicate 100% of our current resources into scouting and finding the best talents from all across the world. Putting them into our academy. Names that you've never heard of, but you soon will. We will scout them. We will nurture them. And when the time is right... We will bring them onto the world footballing stage and you will all be witness to the class of 16. And if that gives you the tingling, I need you to take your hard supple nipple right now and smush it, smush it hard right into that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that little bell thingy on your YouTube back to be notified of every single episode that comes out right here because I need you. I need you guys. Every single one of you guys are going to be my scouting network. Now, right now, we cannot transfer anyone in in this first season. But in the second season, we are allowed to bring in players under the age of 23, but only two per window. Which means we must be extremely, extremely picky on who we bring in. So right now, guys, if you have any suggestions on players who are under the age of 23, leave it in the description down below. And I will profile every single episode. I will profile one of you guys and one of these talents that we should be bringing in at the end of the season we will go ahead and vote 
on which players that we need to bring in. Now the one stipulation of Rex Fang, the billionaire playboy and rather rather handsome lad, was we go ahead and we post up a scout in his homeland. So we went ahead and did that 5 star 5 star over to China looking for physically strong players for 9 months. The reason why we're doing physically strong is, well you can ask the masters of this type of career mode. Cutsy Gaming and Mr. Bama Striker along with DK are some of the best people doing YSL on YouTube. Go ahead and check them out. Now the second scout that we went ahead and posted up, of course, we're gonna, come on, we're Manchester United. The class of 92, a lot of those players were English based. We're posting it up in England, nine months scouting, any five star, five star scouts. Hopefully we can, you know, find the next Beckham one right now. Now for the last scout, this is where I need you guys. This is where I need you bunch of weirdos to go ahead and check. You guys go ahead and help me out right here. Where should I be pointing this last scout? You know, France has been looking very, very strong. Germany is a world power. Or do I go overseas, ladies and gentlemen? Scout Argentina. Maybe find the next Messi. Maybe find the next Neymar in Brazil. Maybe find the next Suarez in Uruguay. I'm going to go ahead and be posting it right here. A list. I'm going to be posting it on the YouTube cards right here. Go ahead and vote. This will be your first voting right here. And tell me, I'm going to list a whole bunch of countries, where should I be posted up? Now for now, I had to go ahead and record this video. So I'm only going to put a short term, you know, scout right here. Three months, our five star, five star scout is going to be scouting in Portugal, looking for physically strong. Hopefully we can bring on the next Cristiano Ronaldo. Now that is just for now, just for now, guys. And you might be saying, well, three months. When does this vote even matter? Well, I'm going to be telling you this. This is a accelerated career mode. I know a lot of you guys just do not have the patience to watch this many games in the championship. So we're going to be simming a lot of them. This first season is going to be pretty much focused on finding these exceedingly, you know, the 1%, the, the cream of the crop talents from across the world with these 5 star, 5 star scouts. So we're going to go ahead, breeze past this first transfer window. We don't really got to do all too much except one thing well two things we're gonna focus a little bit on training and the second thing is we're gonna focus a little bit on loaning out our players to get them to their maximum potential now you might be like wait what what are you even talking about there is such thing that has existed in career mode for quite a long time i'm not the one who found it but it's called the loan out glitch it still exists in fifa 16 career mode if you go ahead and you loan out Certain players, well pretty much you can do it to any player regardless of age, but if you loan out players and bring them back, on occasion they will come back with a higher potential than when they left. Pretty pretty interesting stuff right here, but more on that later. Let's go ahead, we have advanced it one month, we sent out those scouts, and now we get to see and reap the rewards. This is what a lot of the first, you know, first season episodes are going to be about. We're probably going to be skipping ahead three months at a time, and you get to see three rounds of the scouts that we got here. Now we, it isn't the most promising. We did get this one player right here, 70 to 94 potential, but the other guys, 86, I'm sorry. It's just not gonna cut it. I apologize. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we found in England. Utter shit, 65, not gonna cut it. 67, not gonna cut it. 88, all right, maybe we'll take a look. We'll go ahead and scan him for a little bit longer, but 60 and 74. Not going to go ahead. Not going to go ahead and cut it. We might have found a nice little defensive player in um, Wabara right there. Now, onto the final homeland of handsome, handsome man Rex and China. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It wasn't that expensive in China. The thing about Chinese is at least it's cheap. It might not be good for you, but at least it's cheap. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we'll go ahead and look at Wuhan Pan. Uh, maybe in a future date, 86 potential overall. We'll go ahead and see how he works out. Let's go ahead. You might have been yelling at me. You might have been yelling at your screen already. It's like, why the heck did you not train at all in that first month? Well, once again, thanks to, to Bam Striker and Cutsy and the lot. They have found out that you can actually stunt the physical growth of actual players if you overtrain them in a month. So I do not, I repeat, I do not want to train a lot of these players more than once a month and even then we could actually glitch it so the people that you want to be risking that stuff with is probably players that are really uh, are already pretty well developed in physical status like Marcus Rashford, Martial, Memphis Depay but you know if you don't want to do it we especially don't want to do it in the youth academy players that we're bringing in now here is what I'm talking about the loan out right here we went ahead we loaned out McNair and right as you can see right there we brought him back he was originally at 1 million and then when we brought him back, he comes in at 1.2 million, which means that now his potential is upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. 
And yes, there is going to be game playing. We're going to be simming a lot of these matches right here. But here's the next thing that I need you guys to vote on. We've held onto three players. Three players that I believe in my heart of hearts would not leave, would not desert this sinking ship in Manchester United, even if something this drastic would happen. And that, of course, is the captain, Wayne Rooney, right there. The second older player that we're going ahead and hanging on to is Mr. Andre Ferrer, and the last one is Chris Smalling. Now, all these guys are over the age of 23. That's kind of the criteria that I have on this team. I feel like any player under the age of 23 wouldn't mind going ahead and hanging on to this team. They're going to stay with this squad because they want the playing time. And look at this. This is how we're going to freaking start it off. Boom. Timothy Fosu Mensa announcing announcing that Manchester United are going to be fighting, clawing, and scratching their way back to the top. Now, the goal for this series, FIFA 17 is right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. I'm making no qualms about that. I don't think we can capture Champions League in the time before we have FIFA 17, but with the likes of this, with the likes of Tans of Anthony Martial, now onto the ball, absolutely rinsing through their fence, running through, and it takes a miraculous save from the keeper right there of Blackbird to keep Anthony Martial out. I think with some of the talents that we do have, like Fosu Mensa coming in through here, like Marcus Rashford, like Memphis Depay, that we can go ahead and probably win the Premier League. That is the goal for this series. I'm thinking, you know, two, maybe three seasons, we will go ahead and have to see. It depends on the likes of the talents that we get and the transfers that we go ahead and bring in. Now let's go ahead and focus in. What can we do with the squad right here? You took a look at it. What do we need right here? Because I think attacking wise, we're pretty good with our front three. You got the likes of Mr. Marcus Rashford. You got the likes of Anthony Martial, And you have the beast right here, Memphis Depay. Hopefully we can bring a lot more out of him than Louis van Gaal got out of him. Now in the midfield, it's a little bit, it's a little bit weaker if you minus some of the older players. Then we do have Ander Herrera. We also do have the likes of Mr. Wayne Rooney that we can play in the midfield. And there are Beautiful use, like right here, Andres Pereira, who hit a magnificent shot, guys. A magnificent shot over the weekend in the friendly against Wigan. And the likes of Adan Yanze is still on the squad. Defensively, though, you know, uh, some talents right there. Some talents. We have Timothy Fosimensa, Poole, um, Valera, Luke Shaw, of course, returning from entry. And, of course, the lovely, lovely boss for Jackson. Good stuff. And keeper. Keeper, we have Sam Johnson. So... I'm not totally sure. Keeper, we're probably going to be looking to upgrade, but we'll see how it fills out, and we need depth. Depth is the issue right here. We have a little bit. We have Ananyanze and Lingard that can come off of the bench, and we have good quality in our first team, but beyond that, I don't know where we go, guys. I don't know where we go, and it could be shaky at times. we only up in this game. I mean, we had, you saw, we had a lot of opportunities, but with the lack of quality overall in the team now, we weren't being clinical with our chances right here. Marcus Rashford, good going ahead, ceiling right here. Oh, playing down to the wing. Lovely, lovely stuff from Memphis Depay over there. I thought he was outside. I thought I saw them raise the flag. Good strength to hold it off, cutting it back across. And we cannot find the finish right here. And that's a little bit concerning. With the first team that we have, we should be able to go ahead and absolutely trounce a lot of these Champion League sides. But there we go. Getting a little bit of touch right here. Oh, now Yanze flipping it inside. And just getting enough on the defender right there to put the striker off. Marcus Rashford hungry for another opportunity. And that would be it, guys, for our first game. A little bit of a review. I wanted to see what we were working with. I actually had a lot of fun in this match. Domination defensively, though. Only two shots and one shot to them compared to our five shots on target and 11 shots in total. We're going to go ahead and train them a second batch in this month, and that will be pretty much it. Now, of course, since we are doing youth scouts, I wanted to go ahead and get a scout, a future star. But unfortunately, when I open up my stuff now, uh, you know, I'm a minor internet celebrity, I guess. Or I have one really devout fan, and a lot of you guys have been sending me <laughs> uh, a lot of these, like, uh, financial takeovers and scout future stars. I must ask, please, please don't send it because it could possibly ruin a future career mode for me. So we're going to go ahead and scout a future star of my own right there, pay for it, and hopefully we get someone back who can be absolutely tremendous to this second golden generation that we are building right here. And as I said, we're going to be blaring past it. Now I'm going to end it right here. I'm not going to end it right here. I'm going to be ending it pretty soon, uh, right before the transfer window ends, because I want to go ahead and ask you guys, do you think, do you honestly think, now, now, you know, take your homerism aside, 
Do you think that if this were to happen, do you think the likes of Wayne Rooney, do you think the likes of Andre Herrera, do you think the likes of Chris Smalling would stick around? We're going to go ahead and post a second one right here. Go ahead, ding, and we're going to vote for Wayne Rooney right here. Do you think that Wayne Rooney would stay through these turbulent times right here? And we're going to be voting on the other two later in this episode. Now, the second match up against Darby. Darby! Been a little bit tragic these past two seasons, let's be honest, but they are. I wanted to go ahead and play them because I think they're one of the closer teams in the championship to an uh, to a Premier League worthy side right here. They're currently playing, uh, you know, in the championship. And now, as you can see right here, it wasn't that great. We were trying out <laughs> a lot of different players. Valera was actually really tired from the previous match. And this is what I'm saying. Depth is the main key. We need to start bringing in a lot of these youth players right away. We're playing with a lot of 57 rated, you know, 60 rated players, but hopefully we can somehow manage. Now, Adon down is a beautiful scoop turn, digs it in right there, and Grant forcing a good save. But then, oh, look at the bicicleta, Grant Martial, but uh, not too much power onto it, only a dribbler right there. But I like the Odyssey, I like his moxie. Now, Lingard into it, can he blast one from distance? Oh, singeing, singeing the outside of that post right there. You could hear the tings for miles. And now, look at this. Good stuff, good stuff from Darby. Going ahead and trying to go, to, like they're gonna go whip this one in. And Martial is good right there. And a KG KG first half, not all too much happening. Now Marcus Rashford on the ball, using a bit of pace right there. And now laying it off to Martial, good, quick passing, Adnan. Going ahead and seeing Luke Shaw on the overlap. What does he do? He cuts it back inside. Good patience up, gives it to Lingard, picks it to the inside, goes to the outside, fires a shot with his left foot. Great close. Oh my god, great close dribbling right there. Close control dribbling. And look at this. Great patient play. Could have fired, you know, the triple tap cross across the bow. But didn't really see any, you know, powerful. No one really streaking into the opportunity. Lingard going ahead, being patient with it. Good, tricky, good dribbling in close, confined spaces right there. It gets himself a lovely chance. And there we go. We find the breakthrough finally through Lingard. Kind of forgotten, man. I didn't even mention him for the FA Cup winner. The man has potential. This is what this career mode is all about, guys. We've already done it. If you wanted the big games, if you wanted the Messi's, the Ronaldo's, if you wanted all those big boys, we did that already. We did it. Go ahead, check out that. Check out my Jose Mourinho career mode. Links down below. But this is it, guys. We are profiling youth. We are going to be bringing on this beautiful, beautiful generation of youth right here, and we're going to be finding new names. Nobody knew. Nobody knew who Marcus Rashford was at the start of the season. We just knew he was some kid in the Youth Academy system, if you knew that. But now, we're bringing on the next Marcus Rashford. We're going to bring on the next Memphis Depay. We're going to be bringing on the next Anthony Martial. We are going to be bringing in a beautiful, beautiful story, a rise back to glory if you will for manchester united and you guys are all going to be coming along with me i cannot wait guys we get another win and with that i'm going to be closing out this episode asking you guys to vote two more times i really really want your guys input i want you guys involved incredibly incredibly a lot in this series right here we already voted on Wayne Rooney. now what is your opinion what is your opinion on Ander herrera I think he really loves the club. Every single time I see him, you know, play with that shirt on, he really seems to absolutely love it. He kisses the badge. 26 years old, though. 81 rated overall CM. Do you think, do you think, in your heart of hearts, would Ander Herrera actually stay here at the club? And the second one we're going to be going ahead and asking for is, do you think Chris Smalling, one of the better center backs in the Premier League, would he stick around, man? It seemed like... You know, he's had some rough times at Manchester United, but he's weathered the storm and he's become a phenomenal, phenomenal defender. Still, you know, makes the occasional mistake, but I still, you know, which, which defender doesn't, you know, get made silly every once in a while. I really do feel like he is one of the best defenders in the world. So go ahead, vote. Do you think Chris Smalling would stay at Manchester United in these turbulent, turbulent times? And we'll go ahead and show these results and... If you guys feel like they shouldn't still be on the squad, they'll be transferred out in the next episode. Anyway, that is it for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead, take your hard nipple and smash it into the like button. Share it with your friends. My name's Be Modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself. Stay humble. Be weird.